back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hi guys, I am here today to do a super exciting announcement video and that is to announce that I will be on the panel of judges and panel of bloggers for the hashtag SPFBO which stands for self-published fantasy blog off. It is an award that has been hosted for the last two years by Mark Lawrence so this will be its third year. You'll probably have heard of him if you read fantasy. Um, he's one of those kind of grim dark authors and he is the host for SPFBO but every year for the last two years and this will be the third he has managed to gather up a group of 10 bloggers who are quite influential, people who are very critical, very analytical, able to do comprehensive great reviews and talk critically about fantasy as a genre and he gathers those 10 people gives them a pool of 300-ish books between them, all self-published, and they each read 30 books from that pool, and then they each nominate one book that makes it onto the shortlist. So that is a pool of 300 down to 10. Quite quickly, it's down to 10. Each blogger then reads all 10 of the shortlisted books and they rate each one of those books out of 10 and the book that comes away with the highest rating from all 10 of those bloggers and bloggers is the book that wins the SPFBO award. So last two years it has been a hugely successful adventure. The main aim of the award is to basically shine a light on self-publishing in fantasy and the amazing things that have been happening I recently have been reading plenty of self-published books as you guys know that I have been absolutely loving and I do think it is revitalizing the fantasy genre in a way that I never even anticipated. There have been so many books I have read and loved recently and I'm going to put some of them on the screen so that you guys remember which ones are self-published that I've been talking about recently and link you to some of my reviews for them down below because I've just been adoring them so please do go and check all my reviews for those ones out but today I'm going to tell you the 30 books that I have been assigned to read for hashtag SPFBO and let you guys decide which ones I should read first in the comments below based purely off of the cover because I don't really have time to go into the details and so I will be reading all of them but I just need your help on which ones to go for first. So I'm going to quickly flash up each image and tell you the title and the author and then I will go into much more detail as and when I read these books. The event actually starts from July onwards since there is a cover competition as well so do let me know in the comments which covers you guys like best. Yeah I'm really really excited about this whole adventure. It's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited that I was one of the people chosen because there are so many great bloggers who are also chosen. I'll link all of their blogs down below for you guys to go and check out. But yeah, they're amazing, amazing bloggers and I found so many more people already from just agreeing to do it. It's crazy. The online SFF community is awesome. I love it. I'm going to run through all of the books that I have to read for hashtag SPFBO3. Let me know in the comments which ones you want to see me read first. So let's go. The first one I have is Heart of Stone which is by Ben Galley. The next is by Donna Cook and it is Gift of the Phoenix. I have The Pain of Compassion which is by Roland Boykin. Chameleon Assassin which is by B.R. Kingsolver. Princess of Zenina by Giselle Marks. Dragon's Tale by Joseph Malik. Influx by Tim Markeats, M. Greg Rose, Audrey of Farmertown, Naomi Grimm, which is by V. B. Marlowe, Devil's Night Dawning by Damien Black, M. L. Spencer's Dark Storm, Umbra, which is by Toby Bennett, Showdown, which is by Sable Arida, A Mortal Song by Megan Crew, Danny by Stephen Harper, Nobody's Goddess, which is by Amy McNulty, Dragon's Treasure, which is by Maya Starling, Heir to the Sundered Crown, which is by Matthew Olney, The Exercise of Vital Powers by Ian Gregory, The Eighth God by Paul Lavender, The Legacy Chronicle The Sword by T.H. Paul, Shattered Throne by Kate Dean, The Fall of Wrath by Gavin, At an Uncertain Hour by Nikki Blatchley, The Four Powers by Jodie Cummings, 
One by One by Phil Tucker, The Sound of the Stones by Beth Hammond, The Sorcerer's Concubine by Jessalyn Dollamore, Pulse by Stephen Ladlow, and finally Beneath the Silver Rose by T.S. Adrian. I believe nearly all of these are on Goodreads, probably all of them, so I will put a link to all of their Goodreads down below so you can go and read the blurbs for them as well and let me know which one sounds interesting to you. So please do help me, obviously I've got loads to choose from and I will be reading them all at some point but I would love to hear your opinion on where to start and which ones sound really good to you. I'll link all of them down below for you, I'll link the post that Mark Lawrence has done, I'll link all the bloggers and yeah. It's going to be really, really fun. I'm so excited about this. I will hopefully be reviewing a lot of these titles as and when I read them for you guys. I'm super excited. I really hope we find some great gems that are just magical. I love fantasy, as you guys know, so really, really happy to be involved in this project. Cannot wait to get started. Please do help me out, though, and tell me which ones to start with. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all very, very soon in another video. No doubt I'll be telling you much more about each of these books as time goes on. I will see you very soon. Bye! Thank you, Fortune, my 50 old today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.